Hi, I'm Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to show you how to create a login form in PHP. Let's go to our computer. I have here a file index.htm and a file login.php. If I open up my index.htm, what you're seeing here is the HTML code for the login screen. I have a form tag that whose action is set to point to login.php and it's using the post method to do so, which means it won't uh, copy the information we type into the form into the query string that you see at the very top of the browser. So beneath that I have a username with an input called u and a password with an input called p. And the type on that is set to password so it'll be hidden what, what is typed in. Now beneath that I have an input type of submit uh, who is set to have the text login. So that's our login form. And if I pull it up here, just local, you'll see that it looks like uh, any other login form you've ever seen. So now I'm going to pull up the back end code here. And this is an extremely simple uh, login authentication script. The very first thing I do is I start a session because we're going to want to maintain the status of the user, whether they're logged in or not, between multiple pages. So we want to save that into a session. And you begin that by calling the session start function in PHP. Now we have an if here, which says if the post value, remember we're using the post method. Uh, if I'd used get, then that would say get. If the u value that's in post is equal to user, meaning they've typed for the username the word user, and the p value in post is pass, meaning they've typed P-A-S-S -S as the password in the form, then we're going to just say that they've logged in correctly and we're going to set the session value of logged in to be true. Otherwise, we want to tell them that they had an incorrect login. So it's uh, typically a good idea to tie this into a database so you can pull users and passwords out of the database. This is just a very simple uh, explanation. So I'm going to show you a demonstration. I have already uploaded it to my web server. So if I go to daveandrews.org slash easy login, there's my login form I created. My username is user, and my password is pass, P-A-S-S. -S. If I click login, you can see I get the logged in message. And if I type the incorrect password, just something else, you'll, you'll see that it tells me I have an incorrect login. I'm Dave Andrews, and I've just showed you how to create a simple PHP login form.